enter the patient's date of birth and click the tick. By default, the test starts with the right eye, OD, and at the test level defined in the options program. To check or change the current threshold setting method, click the cogwheel here. The options are set by patient age or measurement. We will leave it on the default setting. And the algorithm be left on standard. Press the RX button for help on trial lens editions. The table in our help file displays the recommended editions by age. Ensure the patient is seated comfortably with their left eye occluded and line their right eye up in the video window. Use the chin rest buttons to adjust the height of the patient's head. The volume of the beep can be adjusted here. Ensure the patient is looking at the chosen fixation, central or forepoint and then press the Start Test button. The test status is shown here. A short demonstration is followed by automatic testing. As the test progresses, you can watch a patient's progress in the lower panel. The false positives rate is an important patient attention indicator to follow. To stop the test at any time, press the stop button. The patient can also pause the test by holding down the response button. To continue, just press the start button again. The time between presentations is tracking the patient's response time but can be manually adjusted by clicking the buttons, plus to run faster. If there are no missed points, then the test will stop after the first stage 26 point screening test. We can now realign the patient, press the OS button and repeat for the left eye. However, as there is a missed point, the test automatically extends to the 24-2 stage and continues presenting points. The test stops after 54 points have been tested. Because the missed point is outside the macula, there is no need to extend to the 10-2 stage. But we can do more manual testing to try and identify the cause of the missed stimulus. The point was missed at the probability is less than 2% level. Press MAN manual, to stop automatic testing. Moving the cursor into the target will allow you to present any point. Clicking on a point will immediately present it to the patient at the next intensity level. The patient's response to this brighter presentation will determine how the point is marked. If it is now seen, it will simply remain marked as missed at the previous level. Or if missed a second time, it will be marked as a miss at this new level. Using point and click over any test location on the chart, new or previously tested locations can be presented as many times as necessary to confirm or more accurately map suspect areas. And there is always the option to return to auto testing and extend to 24 plus 10 2 to precisely map the central 10 degrees. This will test 86 points in total. Once finished, a report can be generated by pressing print. The software will generate a PDF of the charts that you can print, save or email. 
Pressing save lets you add the record to the database. You can set up a new patient record or load the patient details if they are already in the database. We will select from the database. Choose the patient from the list and click load. Amend the details if necessary and click on save. This message means that the selected backup location is not available. No database backup has been made this time. See the options program for more details. To start a new patient, click here. Or here to exit back to the main menu. 